So let's maybe take care of the actual mirror here. Let's grab these pieces again and unhide all. And let's maybe just do control I again and hide the selected so we have the blueprints back and we'll just try to figure out uh, the size of this mirror. Okay, so you see the blueprints aren't very good for this as well. Uh, there's a lot of edges really close together so I think we'll just kind of get the basic shape and then we'll just kind of uh, wing it. All right, so we'll start this maybe with the box. All right, so we're just gonna drag one out right here, kind of get the size that we need. All right, and the mirror is on an angle, so uh, from this view, it's gonna be a little bit wider than it actually looks. Okay, so we'll give it some thickness there. All right, we'll move it into position. Move it forward. Okay, we'll park it right on the inside of this bar, right here. And we'll actually just move this down a little bit here and uh, kind of line it up so we can get a better idea of the size that we need. Okay, so that looks about right. Let's maybe do, let's maybe just take the height down a bit here. And we'll do like six or so on the height. And I think that should be good for starters. All right, let me just get rid of these blueprints here uh, so that it captures a little bit better. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for size. Let's maybe take the width down just a little bit. Let's do about 42 on the width. And we'll just do, say, uh, 100 on the height or length. And we'll probably need to adjust that a little bit later on, but that's good for starters. So we'll collapse it down at a poly. Let's just grab the back poly here. And I think we'll do an inset on this. Let's take this up a little bit more. Let's do maybe two and a half or so, and okay. And we'll just extrude this out, just to give it a little bit more detail on the back. Let's do about two and a half. Okay, and on the front here, we'll inset this polygon as well. Let's take this up quite a bit here. Let's do about uh, maybe 4.8. Okay, we'll punch this right in. Okay, so a negative extrusion here. And it doesn't really need to be that deep. Let's do maybe about 1.5. Okay, and we'll just detach this polygon here uh, for the glass later on. Okay, so just uncheck those boxes, hit okay. And we could probably actually throw our black uh, shader on that one. And we are going to turbo smooth this piece, so let's just add some support edges. All right, let's grab that top edge there, do a ring. And let's do a connect on it with two segments. Okay, and I want the corners to be a little bit uh, rolled over, a little bit more soft, so we'll take this up a bit. We don't need to go right to the edge. Let's do maybe around 75 or so on the pinch. And we'll do the same thing side to side here, so let's bring this edge. Connect that up with two segments, and we'll take that up a little bit more. Let's do maybe around 90 or so, right? So they have pretty much an even gap between each of those uh, edges there. Okay, and then we need to add some support here on the back. So let's grab this one. Another ring, another connect. Okay, I'll take this down a little bit more. Let's do around 60 on that one. And same thing here. Let's take it up a little bit more. Do about 65 or 66, and same thing on the outside here. Take it up a little bit more. 85 or so should be good. And we'll just work, keep working around the front. Take that down a little bit more. Let's do about 80. And one more here on the inside. So ring those inner edges and connect it up. This time we only need one segment. I'll slide that a little bit more towards the front. Uh, about negative 60 or so should be good. Okay, let's maybe put a turtle smooth on and we'll see how it looks. Okay, and I think that should be fine. All right, so now let's uh, control click the glass here. So we have both pieces selected. And let's go back to the top view here. Let's unhide all. Okay. 
Okay, we're just gonna give this a bit of a spin. Let's do maybe around 25 or so degrees. Okay, we'll just push it back a bit so it's uh, sitting a little bit closer to the bar. Alright, and obviously this mirror isn't going to do much good with this big pipe in the way, but that uh, really doesn't matter. That's not supposed to be realistic, so we'll just leave it like that. So we grab the rest of the pieces here. Alright, so let's grab those bars. And let's maybe hide everything else. Okay, we also need to have something uh, to attach this to the actual bar. Just gonna move it out a little bit more here so it's not intersecting. And I think that angle should work fine. Okay, so we'll make a little bracket here that sits on the top and goes around the bar. And I think we'll just do something pretty simple for this. Uh, let's maybe grab a cylinder. Right, I'm just going to draw that out in the center here. Give it a little bit of height. And we'll just move it up here and figure out the size that works. Alright, so drag that right up to the top of the mirror. And we don't need these height segments, so let's get rid of those. Let's maybe take the sides up maybe a little bit here. I'm also going to give it a cap segment. Maybe take this up to say 24. And for the radius, we'll take it down a little bit more. Let's do about 4.1 maybe. Okay. And for the height, let's just do maybe 0.8. Okay, so we'll create the stable poly. Go back into the top view here, into vertex. And we'll just delete off the bottom half. Okay. And we can also get rid of these edges on top. We don't really need to have them in here. So I'm just going to grab all those center edges and just uh, control backspace them out. Okay. And then we'll go into border, grab the open border there, and we'll just shift drag that back a bit. Okay. I'm also going to put the blue on there. And let's go back to border and cap that hole. Okay, so really simple. Let's uh, grab the two top polygons here. Control click edge. And let's hold down alt. Deselect that cross edge there in the center. And let's chamfer this down a bit. Uh, 0.15 or so should be good. We'll do the same thing on the bottom. Grab those two polygons. Convert to edge selection, deselect that edge, and chamfer it down the same amount. And we'll just grab each of these corner edges here, do a loop on them, and we'll just give this a chamfer. And let's maybe take it up a little bit more. Let's do about 0.4, we'll hit apply, and let's give it a double. Okay, so pretty simple. It's also Going to the top of here, we'll just give it a little bit more of a rotate so it lines up better with the actual mirror. All right, so let's go rotate that back a bit and try to match the angle of these edges here. Uh, something like that should be good. Now we also need to stretch it a little bit longer here so we can actually put a bolt in the top. Okay, so let's go back into the top view. Back into vertex and we'll grab these inverts here. And uh, to move this uh, straight, we can try changing our uh, view here to maybe local. All right, you can see the pivot point there looks uh, completely whacked out, so we'll switch it maybe to parent, and uh, that looks like it's going to move in the uh, correct direction. All right, so let's move it back on the Y and make it a little bit longer. Okay, so it's just uh, short of the front edge there, and that should give us enough room to put uh, some kind of bolt on the top. Okay, and as you'll notice here, uh, it's... Uh, uh, the bar is going right through it, so we're going to need to move this down a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to move it down. All right, so it's a little bit closer to where it's actually straight. And that looks probably fine right there. So let's grab the two pieces of the mirror, the glass as well as the outside. 
and we'll go into the left view here and I'm just going to pull this down a little bit more. Okay, so it's sitting right underneath that clip. Okay, right like that. And let's maybe clone this piece. So I'm just going to grab that. Shift drag it down to the bottom here. Okay, we're going to have to adjust the height of the mirror. Let's make sure that this is on uh, some of the straight polygons here so it's not uh, bent right through it. Okay, so just try to get that centered. Let's maybe switch this. Uh, let's maybe just leave it like that. I'm just going to grab that maybe and just move it over a little bit more. Grab the top one as well. Slightly move it to the left. Okay, just so it's pretty much centered on uh, the bar. Okay, and then we'll grab the mirror here. Let's go back down to vertex. And we'll just shorten this up in the left view. All right, so grab all the bottom verts. Make sure you have ignore back facing turned off. Let's also turn on show and result here. And we'll just drag this up on the Y until it sits on top of this uh, little bracket piece. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then we need to adjust the class as well. So just grab that, select the two bottom verts, and just drag that up. Okay, so it's just slightly tucked in behind the edge here. Okay, and I think that should work pretty much for the mirror. Uh, let's maybe put something on the top. Let's go into the top view here. Grab another cylinder maybe. And we'll just draw this out in the center of this bracket. Uh, maybe something like that, give it a little bit of height. And we'll move it up here and see how the size is. Okay, so drag that right up to the top. And we'll just set it right on the bracket piece there. Okay, let's also just adjust the size a little bit maybe. Let's do maybe about 1.5 on the, on the radius. Take the height down a little bit more, about 1.4, so it should be good. And we'll just take off that extra cap segment and we'll leave it at 24 sides. Okay, so let's convert to a little poly. Let's go underneath here, we'll just grab that bottom polygon and delete it. And let's select the top one and we'll maybe just do an inset on this. And let's get a little bit of extra detail here. So I'm just going to bring that in something like that. Hit OK. Maybe extrude it up a little bit. About 0.5 or so should be good. And let's maybe uh, extrude the top a little bit more. Okay, maybe a little bit like that, around 0.3. And we'll just taper this polygon in a bit by scaling it. All right, so I'm just going to scale that in a little bit to give it a little bit of a slope. Let's also push it down slightly. Okay, and it, it really doesn't matter. This is just a, a minor detail, so just do it quick. And we can also chamfer down some edges here. So let's grab this outer one, do a loop on it. And let's give that a slight chamfer. About 0.1 or so, we'll do a uh, a second one here, just to round it over a bit. And we can also get this guy. And this top one. And with that polygon selected there, I'm just going to control click edge and we'll just chamfer that one down slightly. Okay, and let's just go to the top view here. We'll just make sure this is. Uh, pretty much in the center of this piece. It's going to move it a little bit more towards the front. And we'll just eyeball it in position here. Okay, so let's very center the pivot on this piece. Okay, and we'll just go into the left view here and do a mirror. Do that on the Y as a copy. And we'll just take this down and uh, place it at the bottom. Okay, so just like that. And let's maybe also put a little bolt on the, the top there. All right, so I'm gonna grab all the pieces of the mirror here. Well, hide all. 
Okay, and we'll see if we can just steal a bolt off uh, another piece here. All right, let's go down here behind this light post and just control click one of these uh, pieces, one of these bolts. All right, let's hide unselect it. Okay, I'm just going to click off. We'll select that bolt there. Hold shift, drag a copy up. Okay, and then we'll select the bottom one there and hide it so we don't accidentally move it. Okay, then we'll just go into the top. We'll just move this over and move it up. Okay, so we're up to the top there. And yeah, we'll just give it a, a spin 90 degrees here and scale it down. Okay, we'll just park that right on the top. Okay, and just line up those center edges. Okay, we might probably get away with putting maybe a smooth modifier on this bottom piece just to get rid of some of that phosphine. Okay, so I'm just going to drop a smooth on there. And we'll just try auto smooth. No, I don't like what that looks like at all. Uh, you can see it looks a little weaker, so let's delete that. Let's maybe just put some smoothing groups on it. All right, so I'm going to go into edge. I'm going to grab this side edge here at the top. Do a ring on it. We'll control click polygon and we'll just go way down the bottom here. Just gonna expand this panel a bit. Down to our smoothing group section. We'll just put that on smoothing group one. Okay, and let's do the same with the uh, chamfers maybe. Grab these two here. Let's maybe grab this one as well as these three. Ring those. Control click polygon and we'll just put these on a circle and let's do two and maybe the outside here on another one. So we'll put that on maybe three. We'll see if that looks a little bit better. Okay, let's maybe throw one on here as well. Okay, so pretty quick and crude, but uh, no one's ever really gonna see that piece anyways. Okay, so the last thing we'll do here is just Make a copy of this bolt. So another mirror on the Y as a copy. And then we'll just take that down and put it at the bottom. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And uh, apologies for going a little bit fast on that part. Uh, we just still have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm just trying to get through some of this stuff a little bit more quick than usual. All right, and for the bars here, um, you can see it's a little bit uh, weird looking there on the shading, and we can actually probably put a turbo smooth on here if uh, we want to. All right, so let's maybe drop a turbo smooth on the bar, and we'll see if we can get away from one iteration, and that looks pretty smooth. You can take it up to two if you want to have it really smooth, but the poly count will be a lot higher. Okay, so I'm just gonna maybe do uh, two just for the sake. Right, we'll copy this modifier here by right clicking on it and we'll just paste it onto the other bars. Okay, so just paste it in there. Same with this one here. Okay, and I'll smooth it out as much as possible. And you really don't need to do this step if you don't want to. Um, you can uh, probably get away with just leaving it uh, with one iteration or even uh, just a normal smooth modifier on there. Uh, but I'm not really concerned about the poly count uh, here at all, so I'm just going to do two. All right, so we'll unhide all again, and we'll just see how this looks on the actual door. Let's also turn the smoothing back on the door. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was add some bolts here to the plate. All right, so let's maybe just do that quick. Let's just grab all the pieces of the mirror here again, as well as the door. We'll select the rest of these pieces here we don't need. And let's just hide them. Okay, so we'll just make a clone of this bolt here and just put a couple over here on the side. All right, so shift drag a copy of that up. Okay, and we'll just uh, give it a spin here. 90 degrees. Okay, just pull that back. OK, 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab that plate there at the top and make sure that we center the pivot on it. Okay, we'll also make sure the bolts uh, pivot point is centered. And then with the bolt selected, we can just go up to align and click on the plate. Okay, we'll take these off, hit okay. That'll make sure it's in the center. All right, so just move that down to the side there and we'll scale it up quite a bit here. So it's a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we'll just move it out a little bit uh, so it's sitting against the surface there in the top view. And we'll see if that looks about the right size. Okay, I think that should work for size. So we'll just leave it there at the end. And we'll maybe make a couple of additional copies here. So let's maybe just hold down shift. We'll try to copy on the X over to the other side of the bar. Let's do one there. And we'll just kind of randomly uh, position these. I'm not going to try to evenly space them. I think we'll have a better result if we have them a little bit uh, unevenly spaced. Right, so let's maybe put one there as well. Okay, I think that should be fine. So I'm just going to grab one of these bolts here and we'll clone it down to the bottom holding shift and we'll just line up here at the bottom with the uh, bracket by centering the pivot point and aligning the bolt to it. Okay, let's move it down to the end here and move it out. Okay, now I'm just going to grab all these pieces here and unhide everything. I'm going to do Control I, hide select it, and we'll just see if we can actually see where these bolts are on the blueprints. Okay, so we have one pretty much in the right location right there. So I'm just going to hold Shift and drag a couple of copies here to line them up. Okay, you can put the bolts uh, any way you like. Uh, you don't have to follow this layout if you want to make them even or even bigger or even give them a little bit more detail. Okay, but I'm not really going to worry about that for the tutorial. We'll just do something like that. Okay, we just want to make sure everything's uh, correctly lined up here. We don't have to adjust anything. All right, I think that's good for the mirror. All right, so I'm just actually going to grab these pieces. And we'll just do a group on this for now. Let's just call it mirror and okay. And we'll unhide all here. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And we're almost done with the cab here. We only have a couple of little uh, tweaks to make. We obviously still need to close up the back as well as the bottom. We need to cut the hole here for the pipe to go through. And we also need to add some uh, geometry in here to kind of block uh, some of the gaps so we can't see underneath the truck. And we'll do that uh, a little bit later. And then we'll mirror the pieces over to the other side and then we'll start working on the actual framing of the back as well as the actual bed and uh, the tires and rims.